Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about crankcase heater. Some refrigerants, like R22, are attracted to refrigerant oil. When the compressor is off, any refrigerant remaining in the suction line will migrate to the coldest location in the system. If the compressor is located outdoors on a cold day, the refrigerant will travel as a vapor to the compressor then the crankcase. This is especially when the unit has been idle for some time or when the compressor is being started for the first time. Once in the crankcase, the refrigerant changes to a liquid and settles under the oil. Refrigerant oil mixtures in the compressor begin to foam when the compressor starts. This causes the oil charge to pump out of the compressor. This is called oil slugging. Slugging can cause broken valves, damaged pistons, and broken head gaskets. In many condensing unit applications, it is necessary to heat the compressor crankcase to evaporate liquid refrigerant trapped in the oil. Crankcase heaters are in common use on compressors. Most large compressors for commercial applications are fitted with a crankcase heater when the compressor is manufactured. These heaters may be operated during the off cycle or they may be thermostatically controlled. Smaller installations do not usually require a built-in crankcase heater. An accessory heater may be purchased and attached to the crankcase. The wraparound type is usually referred to as the belly band. The wraparound heater should be strapped to the housing below the oil level and in close contact with the housing. A good heater will maintain the oil at least 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius, above the temperature of any other system component. When the compressor is stopped it will maintain it at, or above a minimum temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius.